Hi YouTube, today this video isn't gonna be a normal video. It's not gonna be like a Nerf video or an airsoft video. Not a video I usually do on like Nerf guns or airsoft guns. Today I'm gonna do a video of a cap gun. And if you don't wanna know what a cap gun is, it's kind of like a gun shooting a blank, but instead not as loud. It doesn't actually shoot anything, but it takes these little things called caps, and the caps have gunpowder in them. Um, and every time you pull the trigger, it lights a little spark and it makes smoke. And this cap gun is actually a model of a flintlock pistol, um, which is a really old gun. And it's a flintlock pistol isn't the oldest gun in the world. Actually, the oldest gun in the world, the very first firearm, was called the Fire Lance, made in China in the 13th century AD. Um, but this is still a very, very old gun. Uh, it fires like that and there's actually three different types of cap guns um, there's this these kind of cap guns that take these one-shot caps you just pull them apart and they're only one shot and then take them out put a new one in there's the roll, um, ring caps and they take the same kind of caps as these but they're in rings and they usually hold eight shots and some ring caps hold 12 shots and they're usually for cap gun revolvers and then there's paper caps and paper caps are just a roll of paper. Instead of these plastic caps, they're made of paper. So, uh, let me show you. And by the way, the gun does not come with the caps. And if you wanna know where I got this cap gun, I got it at Bass Pro Shops, because they sell a lot of cap guns. So these one-shot caps usually come in a long line like this, and all you do is pull them apart. But then once you've ripped one cap off this long line of caps, um, usually the cap will have excess plastic on that. It won't work as well if you leave the excess plastic on, so you can either rip it off or cut it off. You can see that this one has the excess plastic on it and this one doesn't. So once you've ripped off a cap, you pull the hammer back, put the cap in this circle right here, and then it's loaded. And all you need to do is pull the trigger. Uh, let's just shoot another one. You see, without the cap in, it sounds like this. And with it in, sounds like this. There. So the thing is, if you don't cut all the excess plastic off, it's harder for it to fit in the hole. They never put the exact amount of gunpowder inside every single cap. Well, let's shoot it again. Look at this. So here's what everything the gun is made of. The hammer and the piece the hammer attaches on to um, and the screws are metal. This little golden bronze piece right here is metal. The trigger and trigger guard are metal and the barrel is also metal. And then this brown part is wood. It is actually wood just repainted to a darker brown. It also has an orange plastic muzzle with a hole in the front for smoke to come out. So that's the end of the video. Bye YouTube, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, peace out.